Hi everyone, this is Matt, welcome back. So today I want to talk to you about Research Rabbit. It is a brilliant discovery tool for finding new papers. You can use it instead of Google Scholar. It uses AI, it is fast. In my opinion, it is better than Google Scholar and it is for free. However, it can get quite overwhelming quite quickly because it spits out a lot of information. So I'm going to show you how to use it so you can get the best out of it. First of all, get yourself a Zotero account. Now, if you don't have a Zotero account, watch one of my videos. If you do, make sure it is synchronized and then jump to Research Rabbit. The first thing you want to do is you want to import your Zotero collection. So then all of your papers show up here. Now, you can also divide your papers by new category, new collections. Um, you can add comments under the papers. So for example, there you go. Now I have that. Uh, if you don't remember what the paper is about, you can see abstracts as well. So it is very useful. But now let me show you the true power of Research Rabbit. So if I click on a paper, then I get these options here. So I have explore papers, similar work, all the references, all citations, explore people, these offers or suggested offers. So if we go to similar work, now don't get worried, but it shows 800 people here, 800 papers, apologies because it will then divide them, well, it will sort them by relevance right here. But you can pick a different uh, filter as well. You can make sure that it will show you abstract as well. You ha I have these papers here, but it is showing me on the right hand side here, the most relevant 50 papers. And I can see how they are connected, who cited who, like that, and so on. And the moment you click on a paper, it then shows you the paper right here and you can see the abstract and all the information, which is really useful. Now, if you don't want to see all of that, you can just easily remove this information. But the other thing here that I really need to point out to you is the timeline. So look, now I can see all of these papers by the time they were published. So from the oldest to the newest, and obviously um, this is similar work. So my paper here is on top. The all the papers which are similar to mine are on the right hand side and my other papers that I already have in the collection are here in green. So I can also see how these papers are connected, whether they are connected to any of these papers. Right, that's how it works. Now, if I go back here, I have all the references and what is going to show me now is my, my papers that I cited in my paper. Okay, so these are these, are these papers, so there's um, 48 of them here. And then if I go here to all citations, now these are the other papers that cited my paper. So if I go to the timeline here, my paper should be the oldest, right? Because these are newer papers that cited my paper. So I have them here. Again, it shows me my the papers I already have in my collection as well, whether they are connected or not. Now I'm going to jump to exploring people here. So I have these offers, suggested offers. So it says I should have eight people here, but it actually shows me four people. Now I am right there. It says I have two publications. Well, I actually have more publications than that. So maybe this is not the best um, thing about Research Rabbit, but it also shows you the citations here. And you can easily find in this way um, the people with the most papers. So in this case, it is, it is Sharif. So I'm going to click on him. And now look, this is the person I selected. I can check his published work here or I can check his collaborations. So I'm going to go for his published work. And now I have another window and with all the papers, if something is interesting, I can isolate it. It is showing me how all of these papers are connected. I can jump to the timeline and I can see all the papers that were published by Sharif, right? And I can start reading them from the, from the, perhaps from the newest ones to the oldest ones, see how they are connected and so on. If there is one paper that I'm interested in, so for example, this paper, I get another window. Now I get the abstract here and then on top I have, I have the offers. So if I'm interested in papers by these people, I can click on, um, on this guy's name. It will show me his papers and his collaborations. I have a link to the website with a paper and I also have a link to the PDF. So that is really, really useful. And then on the right hand side, I have these options. I have add to Zotero and add to other collection. 
So let me show you what's going to happen if I click add to Zotero. Okay, so now if I go all the way to the left, now look, this paper is already here, has been added to my collection. And if I now jump to Zotero, it added now the paper to Zotero as well, so you can see it here, right? And this is the beauty of this. So this is how you use ResearchRabbit. If you benefit from this, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.